Hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite Ninja Wear. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I was just going over the computer here this morning. Had to do some uh, comments and emails and messages and things of that nature. And, and uh, you know, because I try to answer every comment as best I can. Um, not everybody gets an answer. Sad to say. <laughs> but it's true. Um, some people just want to be facetious. And uh, I love... Believe it or not, I read all the comments. Even the comments you guys are making on each other's comments. I read all those too. And I love all the interaction. It's amazing. Um, we're nearing the end of the year, people. We're getting closer to the end of the year. Now, I've had my dentures for three years. And... Because of the shaving of the bones and everything else, because the doctor took so much bone off my jaw bones, he didn't want to take too much because apparently he knew that the bones were still going to shrink. He just neglected to tell me that. So it's been three years. I know I'm done with all the healing and everything else now. I know that my bones are done shrinking. The dental lab here... Um, uh, and the dentist that works, uh, that the doctor that that they go through has done all the x-rays and everything else over the past couple of months. They know I'm done shrinking. They know that they can do the hard reline and everything else. We discussed that a few months back, and I had missed my appointment, and then I was on the call list, and they called me in one time, and I was unable to make it down there. Um, and then when they called me yesterday morning and said, can you come in for a consultation? We just want to check your dentures, check your bite, everything else. Um, man, I jumped on it. So I am very happy that they scheduled me for the 19th of next month to get the hard reline done on my top denture. Um, they were surprised that the bottom denture fits so well. Um, they said that it's a very well-made denture to be able to fit that groove in my bottom jaw and to be able to be comfortable and solid and line up and everything else. They said the dental lab in Colorado did an amazing job on this bottom denture. They did an amazing job on the top denture. I just continued to shrink on the top. Um, so... My upper jaw apparently was worse than my bottom jaw. He was able to shave the rod off my bottom jaw, but it was still solidified. So it really didn't shrink. The upper jaw, on the other hand, was like a sponge, and it needed to it needed to heal together again and recalcify um, and re-solidify. And that's what took three years to do. Bones don't heal very fast. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I got a broken bone in my arm. It'll be healed in, you know, eight weeks. It won't be healed in eight weeks. It will be bonded together in eight weeks. But it'll take a long time for that bone to fully heal. Uh, once it does, though, it'll never break in the same place again because it's really solidified. <laughs> At least that's what I've heard from doctors. Uh, you'll never be able to break that bone in the same place again. So that's, you know, it's good to know that my jaw bone has healed to that point. Now somebody asked me, let me find it. Somebody had asked me a question I wanted to uh, bust out on this video. Try to. I, I, I responded to them, but I wanted to uh, um, respond to it on video as well, so that, uh, let's see, where is it? I got to find it now. I should have did a snapshot of it and kept it in my folder so that I would have had it. I'll find it eventually. Maybe I'll find it for the next video. I don't want to sit here and 
Um, Oh yeah, here it is. Um, this person says, I just picked up my first pair of full dentures and I hate them. I feel like they're Legos in my mouth. The top one are fitting pretty good, feeling pretty secure and not so bad. And the dentist did a few adjustments while I was in the chair, but the inside of my bottom lip is raw and s my bottom lip is raw and sore because the front of my bottom denture is too long and pushes into my gum and lip whenever I bite down. Now, if you'll remember watching my first videos, I talked about that. And I talked about how the lip was so sore down here from the denture pushing down into that. And let me show you something. I talked about how sore my lip was, and that was this denture this immediate denture right here and look at how how this how thin this lip is right here I mean there's basically no lip right here but I was sore right here and look at the difference see that you see how much thinner this one is this little thin denture compared to this thick one Okay, now this one goes a lot further down in my lip. But, because I had never worn a denture before, and because it goes over your gums and goes into the crease of your lips, it makes your bottom lip sore. Why? Because, look at when people talk. It's the bottom jaw that's moving up and down. It's the bottom lip that does the most movement. When you drink something, what happens? The bottom lip. The bottom lip does the most movement. It does all the movement. When you suck on something. The bottom lip does all the movement. So when you take that into consideration, the bottom lip is used a lot more than the top lip. Uh, the top lip helps you smile and things like that. And comes down over your teeth a little bit and helps you articulate words properly and things like that. But your bottom lip, your jaw is constantly moving. Your bottom lip is constantly moving. The denture is pushing down on the bottom lip. And what I did when I first got my dentures and, and my bottom lip was hurting so bad was I started stretching my bottom lip. I would just stretch it up and hold it there until this part of my bottom lip stretched out and was able to stretch out enough to accommodate that denture and in doing so I retrained the muscles in the bottom lip right here two things happened one it became flexible enough that it didn't doesn't bother you know the denture doesn't hurt and not only that, I can I learned to control the muscles here to help keep that bottom denture in place. So obviously, I don't wear any adhesive, and you already know that. And that's one of the reasons the doctor was amazed that my inside of my bottom lip was so tough was because of the muscle control. I actually use this part of my bottom lip to hold that denture in place when I'm speaking and things like that because as you know I have no ridge no ridge in my in my bottom denture this is my immediate denture and as you can see it looked like it had a ridge in it very shallow you can tell where I broke it but as you can see in this one there's really really no ridge put it to you this way see the tip of that pen right there tip of that pen look at this this is how little ridge I have in my bottom denture I can set that pen in there 
and you can still see the tip of the pin. So that's how little ridge I have. I have about two fingernail widths, two fingernail widths of, so one, two, about two fingernails of the thickness of your fingernail. I have about two of those thick, two thicknesses of a thumbnail in my bottom denture. That's how much ridge I have on the bottom. So it was surprising to the doctor that I could function the way I am, um, which was not surprising to me because I practiced with it. So yes, you're, if when you first get dentures, you're gonna have some soreness in the bottom lip area and maybe in the cheek area over here. It's nothing really to worry about. It, what you have to worry about is soreness on the gums themselves. Um, soreness in the lips and the muscle areas is just because the denture, okay, so your lip is used to sitting against your gums and your teeth protrude out of your gums like this, okay? So your dentures are, I mean, your lips are used to sitting flush against your gum and your teeth are up here. Well, now your teeth are gone and your lip is sitting against your gum and now you're taking something and putting it over your gum. So now you have extra space here. Your lip wants to be flush right here, but it can't be. So now what it has to do, um, well, shoot, I'll just use a sock for that. Uh, <laughs> so now you're putting something over your gum. So now instead of your lip sitting flush against your gum right here, now your lip has to accommodate for this, so your lip has to stretch out, okay? So now your lip is gonna shape like this to go over the denture. So what's gonna happen? You see that crease down here at the bottom, right here, where the lip has to fold out around the denture? Now it's going to be sore because now it's rubbing right here, right down here in the bottom of the lip area where it's not used to going. Your lip is used to being flush like this, coming up the gum, flush. Now you've got something in the way. This is the denture. Now your lip has to stretch out. So now your lip has to do this motion and it's going to rub on that denture and it's going to hurt a little. I hope that explained it a little better for you. Um, I try to do explanations in layman's terms. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I hope everybody keeps smiling, keep trying, and never give up. I will see you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, hit the like or dislike button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if there's anything you need answered or, you know, if you have any questions, by all means, ask. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. Keep smiling, keep trying, and please, never give up.